Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're coming to you live from Uke Republic. And luckily I am very fortunate to live very close to Uke Republic. And it's been such an awesome experience. I actually got to see Daniel ate the sandwich here just a few weeks ago. This store is really vested in the Uke community. So it's a real pleasure to work with Mike, the owner. And I got to talking with Mike about one of the most common questions I get asked from my members. And a lot of the members on Rock Class 101, they've been playing for a while, you know, they, they join the site, they want to learn to get to the next level when they're playing, but what also comes with that is, well, if I'm getting to that next level, then I want to either expand my collection or I want to upgrade my uke. So when I bought my Kanalea last summer, I got tons of emails saying, well, what did you look for? You know, how did you know that you wanted a Kanalea? Um, did you just want a Hawaiian brand? You know, what else is there besides the Hawaiian ukes? So I told Mike that and we got to talking and I said, well, will you tell some of our uh, viewers a little bit about, you know, what else is out there? So luckily he said yes. And I'm going to go ahead and let him take the reins on this and tell you guys about a few options you have um, describing different types of woods, different types of ukes, different types of sounds that you can get out of it. And he's going to take you on a little journey through it just to kind of open up your mind a little bit, give you a few ideas and what you can look for if you're looking to upgrade or add to that collection. And I also want to mention too, we're doing a little special. If you are a premium member at rockclass101.com, everything that you see in here that is $1,000 or under or anything at Uke Republic will be 5% off. Everything over 1,000 will be free shipping. So it will be just a little incentive for our premium members. So without further ado, I'll give it over to Mike. Hi, Mike from Uke Republic here. So I understand you've been playing ukulele for a while and you're ready to step up to something even nicer than what you've been playing. Well, there's a lot of choices out there, so it really is going to depend on what you like and what your budget is set at. Uh, if you're considering an instrument with a pickup already installed, uh, I think this one packs a lot of value, sounds great, and it looks good. This is from Kala. It's, um, it's got some advantages. Perhaps your instrument is all laminate. This instrument has a solid cedar top, and the cedar is going to give more character, big sound, loads of projection, um, and just a lot of detail to the tonal structure of your playing. Um, of course, again, every budget is different. This one's going to come in somewhere around uh, $400, but for that you're getting a cutaway, solid cedar top, you're getting uh, a pickup with a built-in tuner, uh, fancy binding, the paduk binding, and uh, an acacia laminate body with a slot head. So, important thing, you know, it looks great, it's got a lot of features, does it sound good? Let's hear. So again, that's the cedar top with the pickup. All right, so considering a pickup, there's a lot of options out there. You can have a pickup installed aftermarket. We install um, the MySci pickups with the LR Bags element. Uh, we also offer a passive pickup option. You can do on most ukuleles as long as they have a tie bridge. And then there are the factory installed, which are excellent too, uh, depending on the pickup. Kala makes a really nice pickup for their instrument. Uh, sounds great. The advantages are you can plug into an amplifier. You can play out. Um, you can do a concert in your home. You can do a concert out somewhere. I'd like to talk to you some more about an instrument that you're thinking of stepping up from your current ukulele. Perhaps though consider buying an all solid. So this one is a concert. This is by Mainland Ukulele. Uh, they're based up in Nashville, Indiana. And this particular instrument has a solid spruce top. So it's really lively very crisp, loads of projection, and then on the back you've got solid mahogany. So great, great tonewood combination that's 
tried and true with guitar players. This one's going to be around um, $250 price range. Uh, and again, this is the concert size. So what does it sound like? Again, that's a concert scale, all solid spruce mahogany. All right, so let's contrast and compare a couple of ukuleles. Again, this is the Kala cutaway with pickup, and this is uh, the mainland solid spruce, solid mahogany. Both are exceptional values, to be quite honest, and both are excellent instruments. So choosing your next one is a personal choice. It's gonna be um, you know, what sound you're looking for, what feel you're looking for, and what options you're looking for. This particular tenor has a pickup on it, which a lot of people like. If you have to add a pickup um, later on yourself, say a Maisai, you're looking close to $200. So this one's already got that installed. This instrument's great too. Uh, wonderful instrument to grow with. It's all solid wood construction. It's gonna continue to sound better as it's played and, and the wood opens up. So over time, both are gonna be great instruments. Again, this one's a concert, and this one is a tenor. All right, so you're considering choosing another ukulele. Maybe you're thinking of a Hawaiian maker. Well, we carry a few different ones. One that's very popular is Kanalea. I believe Drew plays Kanalea. Uh, they're fantastic instruments, great family-run business. Um, another one that's very popular is Koaloha, a uh, Hawaiian company. Um, again, family-run business and fantastic products. So. These, are, these two, Koloha makes one uh, that's made in Hawaii, and they also make one that's made in Thailand. So this particular one is made in Thailand, and it's acacia instead of Hawaiian koa. So what they've done is made this about half the price of their Hawaiian-made ukuleles. But still, fantastic build, uh, excellent sound, and re really a wonderful instrument. Uh, Kanalei over here, this is all made in Hawaii, and this is Hawaiian koa. Um, the finish on this particular one is called a, a UV uh, finish, kind of like what Taylor Guitars does. So it's a really nice finish, very clean. Um, these are one and a half inch necks as opposed to the more traditional one and three eighths. Uh, nice rosewood fingerboard on the Kanalea. On this Koloha Opio, it is a mahogany fingerboard. So both are fine instruments. Uh, the sounds are close, but still somewhat different. And I'd like to demonstrate that for you. with low G. Kanalea Solid Koa made in Hawaii. All right, bonus time. So we've talked about sopranos, concerts, tenors, and here is a unique instrument called a grand concert. This is by Kamoa. So what is a grand concert? Well, it has one inch longer scale than a concert, one shorter than a tenor, so it, it really falls in the middle. It's got a larger lower bout, like a dread knot, so it tends to have a bassier tone. This one's set up with a low G. Um, the tone wood combination on here uh, this is a solid European uh, spruce top, and the back and sides are an African wood called a vencol, uh, compar comparably tone-wise to maybe rosewood. Um, really great instruments. They've got nice finger spacing too, so even though it's one and three-eighths up here, it's a little bit wider at the bridge, so you've got a lot of room for your fingers. That's typical of Kamo ukuleles. Neck profile is really nice too. It's uh, it's lean, so you can move up the fingerboard well. And uh, let's hear what it sounds like. Kamoa Grand Concert.
concert. All right, so there's lots of choices for your next step up ukulele. And um, if you have any questions, please call us at ukerepublic.com, 770-235-6606. You can email me as well, mikem at ukerepublic.com, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have concerning ukuleles. It's what we do.